Today we are trying out a brand new foundation. This is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Hyaluronic acid and long wear. I get into all the claims, all of that good stuff in the video. I got this at Ulta. It is $11, which I think is great. On Ulta's website, they only have eight shades. I'm gonna go to Catrice's website and see if they have more because normally they have a lot more than that. I looked on Catrice's website. You could see several more shades. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but you can see several there, but it keeps moving like that. So you can't actually see, but there looks to be several. On Ulta's website, there's only eight. That kind of sucks, but normally with a lot of drugstore foundations, if it does well, I'm sorry, I have a hair on my lip. But normally if it does well, they will come out with more shades, kind of like they did with their other foundation. So we try everything out in this video. We do a wear test, all that good stuff. If you are new here, I always wanna let you guys know that we use all natural lighting here on my channel. I want you guys to see my skin as it is. My redness, rosacea, pores, dark spots, all of my imperfections and there's no filters, no blurring. I want you guys to see everything and I want you to see how this product covers. I want you to see how it wears, all of that. So if you are excited about this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, but let's go ahead and hop in. Sorry, I am not a coffee drinker, so it's so early in the morning, it is juice for me. <laughs> but yes, so we are trying out this. This is in the shade 030 Neutral Sand. <clears throat> it says true skin but better, hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil. Leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish. Medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling medium to high coverage. I did not think this was full coverage. I thought this was like everything else that has been coming out where it's like sheer to medium. Let me look this up because I'll get a little more excited if this will be full coverage, you guys. Okay, True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Enhance your true skin with a Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It's a long wearing vegan formula that has medium buildable coverage for a real skin finish. All right, let's stop talking and get this baby on the skin because as soon as I seen this, and this is a gorgeous bottle, you guys. It has like a rose gold top. It is glass pump, like it's beautiful. So as soon as I seen this, I was so excited about it. All right, I'm gonna shake it a little bit, get this hair out of the way and oh, you guys, what do you think? Do we like it? Do we like it longer? I do like it longer, I'm not going to lie, but at least my hair is healthy. We can kind of get it back there and then let it grow. But I, I think it looks pretty good. Still getting used to styling it and I need some more lift, but it is what it is. All right, let's get this on the face. I'm gonna squeeze out on the hand. Oops, it's runny, runnier than I thought it would be. And then half the face, I'm gonna use a brush. The other half, I'm gonna use a sponge just to kind of see where we can get it, which finish I like better, building it up, you guys know. And of course, the skin is clean and moisturized, but no primer. I never use primer with a new foundation because that's gonna kind of defeat the purpose. <laughs> we wanna see its natural abilities. So, no primer, of course. I'm just kind of dotting it all around. It feels very good on the skin already. You can feel the moisture. I don't really smell a fragrance. It kind of just smells like a foundation. All right, let's take the brush over here. Let me grab my little mirror. So a brush over here goes into the skin pretty nicely. I think this is a smidge light, but we can absolutely bronze it up. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna take my sponge over here, start pushing this side into the skin as well. Where this is long wearing, 
Uh oh, hold on, I got a hair. I expected it not to set quickly, but I actually think it is. Doesn't look too great right there. Forehead. Yeah, you can see, like, it doesn't want to move where it's already kind of setting down. All right, let me quit talking and get in the zone. Yeah, you can see, especially on the nose, how it's kind of staying where I put it. All right, so this is one. And of course, when you're doing your makeup, you're probably not like chatting it up. So just be aware this does start to set down. Let me put a little more on and see what we can do here. And be very quick with this one. Oh my gosh. My hair, you guys, it's getting in everything. All right, let's start applying again. Yeah, the coverage is really nice. Like, it's really nice. This one most certainly dries down quickly, which is very shocking to me with it being a hydrating foundation. Like you see, it kind of doesn't want to move or spread too much. So definitely get this baby on quickly. All right, you can see right here is where I put some extra. And this is where it was initially. The colors are different. Um, I don't think it really oxidizes. I think it almost dries down a bit darker. It's not orange. But I think, we'll see once I get everything else on, but it is a little bit light. Look, my pores aren't super prominent. They, on my nose, I have some pores. But right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, where I had to kind of quickly spread it around. It looks really polka dotty. We'll see if concealer kind of minimizes that, but Overall, it doesn't look bad. It's just I had an issue with it drying so quickly. It doesn't look great here. It looks pretty heavy around the mouth area. Sorry, foundation off the lips. Let's throw on a little bit of Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. This has just been my go-to lately. Like, I love this concealer and I know exactly how it performs, so we can see how it does with this one. But I do have some high hopes for this foundation that it is gonna be long wearing, because I can totally see that. And the coverage, I would definitely say we've got high medium coverage right now, and I barely built this up, like barely. Like it looks really good coverage I am incredibly pleased with. This is what we've got. The concealer did take care of that weird polka dot pore issue there. So I think we're starting out really, really nice. Um, definitely had an issue there. This does dry very quickly, like I've said a hundred times. So I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of the face. So I'll see you guys in just a few. And we're back. This is what we look like with the finished face. Sorry, there's something like flying around here. But anyway, this is what we look like. Bronzer for the win today, you guys. Oh my gosh. This was a little bit light, but I'm telling you guys, it looks gorgeous. After I kind of got over the whole, it dried down really quickly, it didn't want to move. After I got over all of that, I love the way this looks, you guys. So. I am going to, of course, do a wear test on this. We're going to see how long it wears, does it get patchy, all that good stuff. But as of right now, I'm loving it. So I will see you guys several hours later. So I have a different shirt on, of course. Um, it has been almost six hours and I got cold. I mean, just I got really cold. So I'm going to put a little bit of some lip something on because I was trying out some new lip products and I have several products that I'm going to do like mini reviews on in like one video because they're not, 
to me, you know, it's like lip products, things like that, a couple powders where they're not enough for a full video in my opinion. So I'm gonna do like speed reviews on them. So I was trying a new lip product and wow, no. But anyway, okay, so this foundation. I wore a mask, so it did rub off on the nose a little bit. That is pretty well to be expected. Like I'm not gonna fault it for that. And especially where I didn't like set set this like the face isn't set at all except for under the eyes and um, that's basically it so this looks pretty darn stunning for not being set and it being a hydrating foundation you just don't normally find that where it's hydrating but it sets and long wearing like that is a unique product. So everything still looks completely intact. It is not breaking apart other than the nose, which is from a mask rubbing it. But even with the mask, I did, I don't have lines, which is really odd. I'm not going to lie with a lot of my different foundations. I will still have lines from the mask and oh, I hate it, but you know, what do you do? Right now, in the weird state that we're in, we have to wear a mask pretty well everywhere we go. But foundation looks good. It does look pretty heavy around my smile lines, but we kind of started out there, which again, I think was operator error. But we look dang good, guys. So I'm gonna give it some more time. Right before dark, I will do another check-in and we will come to terms with the verdict of this product. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, lip product, of course, I reapplied again, but it is getting dark here. Um, I put this on really early this morning. Okay, 11 hours. We are almost right at the 11 hour mark. Um, wow, wow. I am 100% shocked at how this foundation wore now let me say the color is a little bit too light um it just is with bronzer it doesn't look too bad but it is a little bit light for me but i can make it work i would prefer a darker shade and especially in spring and summer i'll have to have a darker shade but this is this comes in 20 shades i finally seen it on ulta's website you guys this looks beautiful there is a bit of kind of a learning curve with this because it dries so quickly think of those super matte foundations that set i mean so quickly you got to kind of work quick with them but like i said you're not going to be talking through it like i am you know with the review so work a little bit quicker with this one but it does feel hydrating on the skin not like a crazy dewy hydrating like you're putting a bb cream on or a tinted moisturizer it's not like that this does set but it sets down on its own <clears throat> that is huge for me you guys a hydrating foundation that is long wearing and sets on its own it's a unique product it is so unique you guys you just don't find these where where they're hydrating, long wearing. I mean, it's it's crazy. Especially in spring and summer, I don't want to have to set my makeup. I don't, I just don't like to. I like the least amount of product as possible on my skin. And then even in winter, my skin gets a bit drier. I'm a normal skin type. And this is just amazing. If you have lines, like my smile lines here, you'll want to use, <clears throat> sorry, it's getting late, I've talked all day, but you'll want to use a little bit less around those areas so you're going to have less to crease because it definitely, I don't know if you guys can see it as well there, but it definitely kind of creased up there and that's my fault. I put too much, I was having trouble kind of blending it where I was talking, but this looks, like I didn't put as much on the forehead and you can see it doesn't look bad on the forehead. But I love the way this looks. I think it's very smoothing. It did not break down anymore at all anywhere. The nose is my only problem 
and that was strictly from a mask if I wore this again I would set the nose pretty well and I think I would be good to go but here is what we look like still after 11 hours you guys with a hydrating foundation I just honestly I'm in love with this I've said it over and over but this is a rare product to find so I love this highly recommend it and it's only $11 you guys the price tag on this is unreal for what it is honestly it's also vegan it says it's microplastic particle free I mean it's just good it is so I highly recommend this if um, if you guys try this let me know what you think about it because I'm curious to see because I honestly think this would work for all skin tones if you're dry I think it will work for you because it does set on its own but it's not matte it's not a drying matte flat set I think if you have oily skin this is still going to set on you but you could even set the whole face with powder if you wanted to reinforce it normal skin like me you're gonna love it so this I love this what an awesome awesome find I am so excited about this one you guys I will keep you updated as usual I'm gonna keep wearing this I'm actually gonna wear it tomorrow I'm so in love with it but I'm gonna apply it like I normally would without you know reviewing it talking and see if I really notice it setting down that way but I do prefer a brush I don't like the way this acts with a damp sponge or that sponge which was the LA girl sponge I'm not a fan of it with that it just it didn't work right with it I will try other sponges but as of right now a brush is the way to go beautiful beautiful coverage it is buildable I cannot say enough good things about this so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did I hope you subscribe and click that bell and I hope to see you yes you in my next one bye guys